Hi everyone, my name is Julia Ayeta. Welcome. I have been seeing people making videos talking about how they were able to brighten and lighten their dark underarms or armpits. And I have been on that journey of trying to brighten my underarms for quite some time. And I thought, why not? Let me also make my own version of my story in hopes that it might be helpful to someone because me i wasn't so lucky to be able to brighten my armpits like instantly you know first i'd like to show you my before photo and then i will show you my current photo by the way, I made this video in Swahili version, but I decided to do this one in English version. So if you understand Swahili, you can also go and check that video out. You might have a good laugh. If I take you back to where it all started, it was back in 2017. That is when I realized the skin under my armpits were much darker than the skin tone that I have. And I decided to look for solution you know i decided to try to see what i can do to kind of better that skin tone under my armpits and <laughs> i i followed all the good advice from youtube i've tried all of it except laser i started with lemon and i can't even count how many lemons i've rubbed under my armpits just to kind of brighten them up it never worked the only benefit i got from a lemon was prevention of body odor then i came to baking soda i don't even know where to start right now i was mixing baking soda sometimes i would mix it with lemon sometimes i would mix it with water i would apply it Wait 15 minutes, then go shower. It never worked. I stopped. Then I decided, because I was shaving back then, I was using razor. I thought, you know what? I'm going to stop shaving because with shaving, it makes the skin cell turnover to happen quick and it's normal speed. And I thought, I'm going to start using VIT. And I started using VIT cream. Back then, I was lucky. I decided to buy three pieces. They were all on offer. So I bought two wax kits from VIT and also the cream. I used this cream for quite a long time. I don't know, maybe two years or something. So one day, the spatula of the VIT got lost. I decided to try the wax that I had and it was a disaster <laughs> because I applied the wax. I, I, I didn't even know what I was doing, you all. I applied the wax and pulled it. When I pulled, the wax came out with only, I don't know, three hairs or four hairs. Believe me. <laughs> I did it again and the same thing happened. I never knew that if my skin, if my body temperature was warm and I was kind of sweating, the waxing thing wouldn't be possible. Do you know, I had to walk with one armpit was waxed with the wax from Vit and another one was shaved with a machine. <laughs> I told a friend of mine, actually I told a colleague and she was laughing like crazy. Anyway, I decided to give it up. I did not wax again. I went to buy a new vit and I decided to start again from one again with the new vit. So I used that one till somewhere 2020, I believe but during that time because i i realized my skin was kind of getting waxed through using vit or maybe it was just into my brain but i realized things are not getting well or better i decided to buy kojic acid 
soap and i use this kojic acid soap i would shower in the evening with kojic acid soap and then the next day i'll just use a roll-on so when i came to realize this kojic is also not working i decided to, to combine kojic acid soap and the exfoliating gloves <laughs> my skin became irritated listen my skin was at its worst at this point <laughs> i was giving up i was saying you know what i i don't know what to do anymore i i i don't know i even bought some uh, aluminium free and alcohol free deal not even one i bought a couple of them it was just a disaster by luck i can't say what it was end of last year i stumped into something saying that uh, it was an article i can't remember really but uh, it was saying that sometimes darkness in parts of the body in some part of the body can be because of hormonal imbalance I was like, wait a minute, could it be that this darkness I have under my armpit be caused by hormonal imbalance? I started getting interested. I wanted to know everything. I wanted to know what kind of hormone is this and that kind of stuff. So I was busy doing research. I had some, I read something to do with insulin resistant and that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay. You know what we are going to try this one more time <laughs> actually it was 13th january this year i decided to stop with everything by the way i was also in a point of trying to apply uh, lightening creams under my armpit i was at that point i would i wouldn't advise anyone because i have seen people in africa i'm from kenya by the way I've seen people from Africa getting this burned uh, skin uh, situation, you know, and it becomes red and that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, if I would do this and it ruins my skin worse than how it is, I wouldn't forgive myself. So I didn't even use that. Thank God. Anyway, 13th this year, January, I started making my own sugar wax. I cooked sugar wax and I bought some the strips, the waxing strips and the, also the um the sticks, the sticks you use for applying the wax. I created like a ampit routine. This might sound weird, but I scheduled my waxing day every four weeks into my phone i learned how to wax correctly so the kind of uh armpit routine that i created was every four weeks i wax and the day i'm waxing after i wax i will go shower after showering i will apply this cream It's La, La Roche Posay Sika Plast, Sika Plast Baume Bay 5. I hope I pronounce it uh, correctly. Anyway, I'd apply this one for the past three days just to kind of calm my skin. This one is also something I'm using as my armpit moisturizer. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but I realized all parts of our body has to be moisturized of course when i get some like burnt with the uh, retinol or something like that i would also use this one because it's a calming cream so it's not necessarily like only for the armpits i can also use it for some other things and i think this is what really changed everything apart from everything else i'm going to tell you so i'd apply this one the first three days then i'll apply this the famous p 
PFB. By the way, I'm not sponsored. None of these things are sponsored. I'm just showing you what I'm doing or what I've been doing that helped me. But if anyone wants to sponsor me, please <laughs> contact me. <laughs> I'd apply this one. This one I'll use for the next five days. So three days, five days. You know, the first week, the first like 10 days is when uh, the, everything can happen. Ingrown can happen. Irritation can happen. So I normally do use this one. When I use the FP, I don't use this one. And mostly I do all this weird, weird things at night <laughs> in the evening. After five days of applying this one, I start using this one. This one is the ordinary. And I've used till where it is now. Anyway, I'll use this one. I'll use it on a cotton. I'll take a cotton. Pour it and kind of rub my armpits with it both sides after that of course i'm doing this after i shower in the evening after that i will moisturize with this one so the only time i'm not using this one is when i use this one the five past the, the first five days but the rest of the time i moisturize my skin and i do this every evening during daytime I would decide if I want to go with Roland or not. Mostly when I realized when I started using this one, I don't necessarily need a Roland or a Dio because I hardly, I hardly have that, you know, that bacteria body odor, you know, because this one is killing all the bacteria. <laughs> so about Dio's, it depends on how I feel. If I'm not going anywhere or not an um, important place, I would just go without a deal. Once in a while, I'll use it if necessary. One more thing which is super important without forgetting, actually two more things or maybe three, I don't know. But I cut carbs, especially the bad carbs. Per day, I used to target eating only 100 carbs. Of course, I used to go way less. Sometimes I find myself I eat 50, sometimes 60, sometimes 80, but maximum I used to target 100 grams. The days that I happen to be invited somewhere, like for a birthday or something, that day I will be less strict with what I eat. That is the only time that I, I can go overboard like more than 100 grams. But the rest of the days, I used to stay with 100 grams till today. Another thing, I started working out. One last thing, I was also very careful with the kind of clothes I'm wearing. So I have been trying to wear a lot of cotton clothes. I think that is all. And I hope I did not forget anything. Of course, I'm not a doctor. Something with food, if you've had like food disorder or anything of that nature, I think it would be good if you consult a doctor with this kind of stuff. I'm just sharing a part of my story in hopes that it will help someone who has been struggling with dark underarm. It has been a long journey for sure, but it it's been super worth it i won't i won't even regret spending my time energy money trying to fix my skin because hey we only have this body once in a lifetime if we don't take care of it now we will never be able to take care of it ever thank you so much for spending time with me and i hope this video is helpful Share your thoughts and like it if you find it helpful. And till next time, bye for now.